Today's hair tips video is all about that frizzing and fraying that happens to our beautiful braids and how to reduce that. So you know you'll do up a nice braid in the morning and it looks sleek and tidy and you love it. But then you look in the mirror again later that afternoon and it looks like something chewed up your hair. Well, maybe not that serious, but you get my point. That, my friends, is called braid shred. When you wear braids, it's inevitable that some of this will happen regardless of what you do. But here are some tips for reducing shred as much as possible. The first batch of tips has to do with how you prep your hair. I'm going to use a family of products from eSalon because they do great things for keeping my hair smooth and they work really well together. Start your prep on damp, towel-dried hair. The most important thing you can do for having polished braids is having healthy hair. So I always use a leave-in conditioner to protect my hair from degradation and breakage. This particular one is a smoothing balm, which means it's specifically designed to increase shine and strand smoothness for a polished look. It's also a humectant, so it keeps my hair hydrated, which in turn means the hair is more supple and less rigid, so it won't fight the shape of the braid so much. Once your hair is dry, another step towards having less braid shred is using an oil on your hair. While this can make things look greasy when you have your hair down, it makes a braid look very smooth while at the same time holding the hair together better. For finer hair, use a lighter oil like a few extra dollops of this anti-frizz serum. Normally a dime amount of this is all you need for frizz control in everyday hair, but for braid shred, we can go with a little extra. For thicker hair, use something heavier like coconut or olive oil. Not to mention oiling your hair goes a long way towards protecting it from everyday wear and damage. And for the unruliest of hair that still shreds more than you want, you can do the hair equivalent of gluing it in place. Before braiding, apply a styling lotion like this that is meant to hold shape. Some lotions and gels will leave the hair feeling crunchy, so you can use those just when you know that no one else will be touching your hair. Or you can find a lotion like this one that still leaves the hair soft. Texture spray is also helpful if you want to have a fluffy pancaked braid, but still want things to hold together fairly well. There are also some tricks you can do during braiding that help reduce shred. First, comb out your hair. Seriously. We want all the individual hairs laying parallel to each other. If your hair is super curly, no need to comb all your hair, because that can make you look like a fuzzball. But comb through the braid strands specifically so those are free of tangles and all hairs are going in the same direction. If you have layers or you tend to see chunks of hair like this sticking out of your braids, unbraid back up to this strand and twist it inwards so when you braid it again, the chunk of hair is trapped and held down in the inside of the braid rather than sticking out the side. Finally, curling your hair can help keep everything in place. This is because the ends of curls tend to curl inwards in braids so again, if you have layers or annoying bits near the end, having some curl to your hair will encourage those ends to form more to the braid. These are all methods I use for keeping my braids looking as nice as possible throughout the day. Again though, some shred is always inevitable, especially if your braid is brushing against your clothing all day or if it's really windy outside. Braids with more strands are also prone to more shred than three strand or rope braids. So if you still hate the shred you have, there's always the option to pin it into an updo. There's your day to night look, elegant and secretly functional. Do you have any other tricks for keeping your braids nice? Share in the comments below so we can all benefit from the collective wisdom. Also, if you're curious about any of the products I used in this video, you can check out the links in the description box below. These will get you 50% off the products at their online store. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.